Um, we've got Garcelle Bove coming to America is available to stream on Amazon Prime Video tomorrow. Kelly Rowland's EP K is out now. Kelly, I, I read somewhere that you had that you had recorded 80 songs. Did you record 80 songs to get to this EP? Um, almost 80 songs, but it's like, I mean, it was seven years. I recorded a lot of music and I was literally just in the chase to try to find the right sound. Wow. There's, I love yeah. all the bass. Wow. In some of the tracks I heard, I, I got a lot of bass and it was really good. Yes. Thank you. I'm yeah. glad you liked it. Yeah, I did. I, I didn't like it. I loved it. And I want those remixes. So I'm just going to keep yes. saying that. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Sir, yes, sir. Garcelle, uh, Ricky S. wants to know if you keep in touch with Denise. I do. We've been trying to get together between her schedule and my schedule, but we text each other and the uh, we want to. We just haven't been able to do it. Right. I miss her. Yeah. I really do. Um. Kelly, I'm wondering if you saw the Britney doc and what you thought of it. No, I haven't seen the Br Britney doc. I'm having a hard time, like, in wanting to watch it. Um, uh -huh. Just because I really respect the fact, like, when artists actually say, this is a documentary, it's okay to watch this. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, interesting. Um, yeah. It's, I, I kind of, I respect, you know, their space and their privacy and their point of view. You know what I mean? Um, and their story, what they feel like their story is from their brain, their hearts, their mouth, in which they speak. So I, I kind of respect that. But I, everybody says that they really enjoy it. It's great. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's. Uh, I, I think it's causing people to look at the way that specifically the media treated her um, yes. in, in, a, in a different way. Well, now, I mean, think about it. It is media, she, but now it's social media. You know what I mean? Yeah. And social media is people. You know what I mean? So it's like this, this from from her perspective, it was like, you know, journalists and all these people in the media, but now social media is people. So people need to just be kind, period. Yeah. Amen. That would be nice. She was such a young girl and living in a fishbowl. I felt sorry for her. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Garcelle, uh, what else do I have for you? I already asked you that. Uh, oh, Nico R said, since you wrapped filming Coming to America 2, did being on set make you want to revisit the conversation of the Jamie Foxx show reboot? Oh, I would love the reboot of the Jamie Foxx show. I don't think it's in the works. I would love it, though. Kelly, uh, T. Kyle Mack said, I need to know if Kelly has any plans to put the Commander music video in HD on YouTube. Oh, wow. I That's have specific. not thought about that. But now, I um, look, I'm not into, I seem like that's a really good idea. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay. Garcelle, Warren K wants to know what Jamie Foxx's reaction after you called him out for being hung like a horse was on the reel <laughs> last year. He loved it, of course. Yeah, I mean, who's not going <laughs> to like that? He, he right. loved it. He said, take a little at a time. You don't have to take it all at once. <laughs> right. You know, Kelly, uh, this is a question wanting to know if you were nervous singing in front of Mariah Carey during your tribute performance for her at the 2012 BET Honors. But I got to expand that because I was at the VH1 uh, Honors for Diana Ross many years ago when um, you and the girls sang for her and you have sung for everybody. I mean, I feel like you all have paid tribute to so many great artists. Is there one that stands out for you as being the one that you were maybe most nervous for or meant the most to you in terms of those tribute performances? They all mean so much because you got to remember, like Diana Ross, I watched videos of her and the Supremes and Mariah and, oh, Whit Whitney. Whitney, I was like... I had I didn't say anything. I literally did not say anything. I was so starstruck. Do you remember so, what you guys sang for Whitney? Um, no, no. I'm sorry. You're right. That was a tri a tribute. Oh, so, oh, no, I was just I nervous to Whitney. Oh. But tribute, Mariah, for sure. Really, really. Yeah. 
Wow. Oh, oh no. I, be, because I love and respect her so much. Like I've literally like had an argument with a journalist over her wow. <laughs> because they were talking wow. stuff about her. And I was like, oh no, you gotta, I was like, this interview's over. Get out. And you need to da 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 da. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I arrived from okay. Mariah. I arrived from Mariah. That's great. I, have you read her book? It's great. Yes. And have you listened to the audio version? It's great too. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get I gotta get that. You gotta get it. You gotta get both. You yeah. Garcelle, I'll I'll send you a copy. It's on Andy Cohen Books. I love it. Uh, uh, just oh. say yeah. Well a, a little plug. Yeah. Just well, I plug can't it. wait to have you guys both come and go to bed with me, please, on my podcast. Great. Yes. I'm down. I'm down. I would Good. love to do it. Uh, congrats on the podcast. Congrats on coming to America and on uh, the new music, Kelly. Very excited. The EP is called K, and it's out now. Uh, thanks, both of you. For more, click around bravotv.com. Thank thanks. you, Andy. Thank you, Andy. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.